But I used to get away with going, no, I can't do that. I'm going to my kid's soccer game on Friday, so I won't be there. And then they were like, take it or leave it. And I was going through a divorce at the time. I was like, I could just disappear or I could just pay my bills and what I'm supposed to do, and take the <laughs> job and say, thank you very much. So I was grumpy for a little bit and they tolerated me being in a bad mood for a year or so. And then I started to make friends and things were wonderful. And then they come to the end, they go like, well, we don't know if we we can take up your option. And I was like, and I said to Bob, I think it was what pissed Bob off is I said, if you take me off the poster, I'm not coming back because I don't do windows. And that was not received well. <laughs> really? You just it, said that? Well, yeah, it's exactly what I said because the truth- of You the felt matter, like you'd earned it. Well, the funny thing was, I mean, with all due respect to my friends, I am so grateful for myself and for all my friends that they yeah. had work for this amount of time. It was good work and that everybody on that crew was, was just fantastic. They were all at my wedding for God's sake. Yeah. You know, it was it was a big deal. Plus the fans, the fans. But the fans, fans are amazing. Yeah. It, that, that's 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 without saying. But I was playing. I played the same scene in season twelve five times over five episodes, and I was like, "All right, gigs up." You know, it, the gig is up. And so you know, everyone's kind of like, oh, they won't get rid of you. They won't get rid of you. I'm like, I'm done. I know I'm done. You knew I'm it. Done. Yeah, I know I was done. Transpo. What came, scene came was to this? Me. What season was this? Twelve. Twelve. I was killed at the end of twelve, and Transpo went, like, take your car home. I'm like, well, I don't have transport then. It's like, we'll do it. So I took my car home like a month and a half early, two months early. I was taken to and from set every single day. I was taken home. I was dropped at airports, brought back. It was just, I was looked after. That was sweet. It is sweet. And the people don't have to do that. They And they did. And it was, and I think what surprised everybody on set on my last scene is I'd already spent two weeks saying goodbye to everybody. And I didn't want to make a speech for the first time in my life. And I think they got a little upset that I didn't make some big speech because I'm big mouth. You didn't say people. anything? I said, thank you very much and walked away. I'd spent two weeks talking to every single person. So you, saying, you didn't have you. to say anything? I didn't feel I had to say anything, but I think it got a bit weird. And then, I don't know. I just do, said, you, do you get invited to the supernatural conventions? I don't, the, no. You don't? No, I, I, I did 17 and then it was really weird for my friends. It was weird for my friends. What do you mean? Okay, so Ruth plays my mother, wonderful, lovely actress, beautiful human being, worked her butt off on the show, should have been my uh, ex-wife, it would have been even better. Right. It would have been fantastic. If she had played my ex-wife in the show, it would have been just something else. Right. But okay, she's my mom, doesn't really make sense in the can that she's my mom, but it, we made it work and, it, and she's just brilliant. She's just wonderful to work with. And really, do I want to go to a convention where every single question she gets is, when's Mark Shepard coming back? Because yeah. that's what happened for a year. Yeah. That's not cool. They got work to do. They got things to do. They deserve better than that.